you look at uh, Tesla, Tesla has been under a lot of scrutiny um, for the last few years, in part because as more people use autopilot and more people use full self-driving, that which is not uh, an odd, it's not fully self-driving, but it's really just a driver assistance feature, um, people become kind of complacent uh, because they think it is a fully self-driving system. It, when in fact, you still need to pay attention, you still need to be able to take over for the car. And so, you know, we will be looking through this data to see, you know, what kind of things can be teased out uh, in the months and uh, years to come as, as you just have more and more data to kind of uh, parse through. What, what, when you look at the areas, uh, what areas would you like to see more data from? I think one of the, the things that I think is people are concerned about is the number of fatalities. Uh, five of those crashes uh, that, that Tesla had were fatal. Um, those, of course, are of great concern to people. Um, they'll be looking for, you know, kind of information that is kind of relates to other certain scenarios um, that the system can't handle. Um, for years, there's been concerns about Tesla crashing into emergency vehicles on highways, these emergency vehicles such as fire truck stops that crash, um, just running into the back of them. So the government has been looking into those kinds of things, and, and we're looking for, you know, is this a limitation of the autopilot system? Can it not see things that are stopped on the roadway? If we were to back up, say, five years and take a look at what was expected in terms of the evolution of self-driving technology, would you say we are ahead or behind the curve? If we went back five, ten years ago, I, I, it would be fair to say that there was a lot more robust expectations uh, for where self-driving technology would be. With, you know, seen as you know, basically being on the near horizon, that at this point in time we'd probably have robot cars. And we do have robot cars, but they just are not as robust um, as some had predicted, in, in part because uh, of us humans. Uh, humans are very complicated on the roadway, and robots are having a hard time understanding and reacting and predicting how humans will, will respond. So that, that is some of the complication. Um, and, you know, perhaps some of those forecasts a decade ago were uh, more uh, marketing and efforts to raise the kinds of money that were needed to fund um, the investment and, and research into this technology. Thank you very much for talking to us. Tim Higgins, Tech and Auto Reporter for the Wall Street Journal. We are headed to Wall Street. We're going to check in on the Money Watch with Joan Doniger. It wasn't too long ago Wall Street was relieved to hear the Federal Reserve was not considering an interest rate hike of three quarters of a percent, but today investors were relieved to hear the three quarters of a percent rate hike decided on won't become common. No Fed Chair Jay Powell says we could see another next month. Still, the stock averages rose one to two and a half percent. The Dow up 304, the Nasdaq 271, the S&P 55. A top House Democrat wants the Government Accounting Office to take a look at data on retirement savings programs that offer investments in cryptocurrency. The head of the House Ways and Means Committee, Richard Neal of Massachusetts, says he's worried about the lack of regulation for such investments. Lego is ready to make an investment to make sure supply chain tie-ups don't interfere with getting its plastic bricks lined up for sale. It's planning to build a new factory near Richmond, Virginia. It'll put about 1,800 people to work there. Right now, most of the Legos sold in the U.S. come from Mexico. Michelle Donner, Bloomberg Business for KCBS. The honest diapers and wipes bundle was made to give you peace of mind and one less thing to do. Good for the planet, good for your baby, and good for you to mix and match sizes in the coolest seasonal prints. Their hypoallergenic wipes are made with over 99% water and 100% plant-based cloths for all life's messes. Plus, you save 20% with every bundle and get 15% off diaper duty extras and clean products for the whole fam. Check out the Honest Diapers and Wipes bundle at Honest.com and use code RADIO to save 30% off your first month's subscription. At Princess Cruises, we take pride in discovering what makes you feel special. From making Judy's margarita spicy, but not too spicy, to making sure Tom's Day Ashore is spent kayaking, snorkeling, and waving to a dolphin or two. A vacation with Princess is all about making sure you feel taken care of. It's what we do best. Get the Princess treatment and cruise from San Francisco for just $59 per day. Book now at princess.com or contact your travel advisor. Terms and restrictions apply. Promotional pricing ends September 30th, 2022. Ships of Bermuda and British Rush Street. With temperatures heating up, water is on everyone's mind. This is Claire Beverly, and I want to tell you about LifeSource Water, the Bay Area's most recommended whole house water system. 
Life Source filters out harsh chemicals like chlorine and chloramine that cities add to your Hetch Hetchy water. Without these chemicals, you will love the feel of your hair and skin and the fresh taste of your water. Life Source reduces hard water problems and provides great tasting filtered water from every faucet in your home. And Life Source systems are 100% maintenance free. No filters to replace, no salt, and no need to buy plastic water bottles. So Life Source is great for people, pets, and the planet. And to celebrate July 4th, Life Source will pay your sales tax. Yes, they will pay your sales tax. For a limited time, you can save big on clean water in your entire home. This offer ends at soon, so call Life Source Water at 888-712-4279 or visit lifesourcewater.com. That's 888-712-4279. Taste and feel the difference every day. Come again for KCBS Traffic News. It's a 228. We are checking back with Kim Bestel and your local Honda Dealers Traffic Center off to the Bayshore Freeway this time. We've got a backup in San Mateo for your ride on northbound 101. It's a crash just before you get to the Hillsdale off-ramp. A lot of activity on the right shoulder in the right lane. That car landed uh, in the ditch there to the right of the freeway. We just tweeted a picture of the situation. If you follow us on Twitter, you can see it, KCBS AM FM traffic. So it's not a huge deal if you're headed to Foster City or San Mateo Bridge. It's going to slow you down just for a minute or two, really. Uh, up ahead, we do have a new problem on the Bay Bridge just got a call from the phone for us telling us about a stall eastbound direction just before the toll plaza and car conked out in the second lane from the left. Uh, it's already pretty slow for your ride out of San Francisco on both northbound 101 and eastbound 80 and uh, on and off the brakes before the island as well. If you're headed into San Francisco, meteorite lights are on, so there's a backup at the toll plaza. And in the East Bay, Hayward is a problem spot because of a crash northbound 880 Whipple Road now on the right-hand shoulder. Next update to 38 and on the traffic leader, KCBS. We warmed up a little bit more, especially inland, uh, where we're seeing highs in the 80s to low 90s, 70s by the bay, 60s at the coast. Things are really going to start to change tomorrow. We're going to get nicked by a weak cold front. It's really going to drop temperatures by Friday to below average, mostly just in the 60s to low to mid 70s away from the coast. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. Are you looking to renovate your kitchen or bathroom? I'm Mike Holmes here with Ivan from AGM Renovation. Thanks, Mike. Too often, homeowners hired the wrong contractor. Ivan, I see this all the time. Delays, shortcuts, hidden fees, nightmares. At AGM, we use the top trades in each product is finished on time, on budget, backed by a five-year warranty. That's why AGM are the only kitchen or bathroom renovation specialist I recommend. Call now and get $3,000 off. Join Esapeka Salonen and the SF Symphony for a musical odyssey through time. Explore an ancient metropolis in Odorino Rossini, the Pines of Rome, the sounds of Madrid in a piece that brings together Luciano Berrio and Luigi Boccherini, the dance of Jesse Montgomery's strum, and the breathless thrill of Bella Bartok performed by pianist Pierre Laurent Aimard, June 16 through 19. Visit sfsymphony.org for details. News that matters to you around the bay, around the world, around the clock. All news 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. It's Wednesday, June 15th, 2022. Coming up on KCBS, I'm Holly Kwan. Whose job is it to stop coaches who berate and insult young athletes? That's just unacceptable and we wouldn't allow it, but for some reason we allowed it to happen for a very long time in sports. It's now been a full year since what seemed like a promising turning point in the pandemic. Our Melissa Colross is going to take a look at where things stand today. Good afternoon, I'm Patty Rising. And I'm Jeff Bell. KCBS News Time 231. A recent investigation by the Orange County Register unveiled allegations of bullying and abuse by Cal's celebrated women's swimming coach that went back years. Despite repeated reports, athletes and some parents claim that they were stonewalled by those in charge. This summer, USF is set to go to court over similar accusations made against its women's basketball head coach. KCBS reporter Holly Kwan continues our series of special reports looking at the evolving nature of coaching by asking, whose job is it to make sure the coaches don't step over the line? football or basketball games that San Francisco resident Mary Joyce misses. Uh, memorial book of the play, my flip book. Oh, you mean like you flip it? Yeah, you flip it through and it's the play. 
during postgraduate research overseas, taught the cow drinking song to people in Denmark. So, I'm Pri Gobert. She's the kind of fan that colleges and universities count on. But when she read about cow swimming coach Terry McKeever being put on leave over allegations of years of bullying, she was floored. You want to be supporting women athletes, not contributing to institutions that will maltreat them. Whether from the, the Me Too movement or the social injustice after George Floyd's murder, like when you see this groundswell of people being able to speak up, administrators, organizational leaders, like they need to start paying more attention to it. Jason Sachs is president of the national nonprofit group Positive Coaching Alliance, which was founded in the Bay Area. He says we would never tolerate an abusive teacher or turn it into a, a corporate setting, you know, a manager and one of their employees. Like, that's just unacceptable, and we wouldn't allow it, but for some reason we allowed it to happen in sports, and the fact that we're shifting what's acceptable I think is a good thing. Except this model of strict authoritarian coaching doesn't change overnight. Every athletic director and every organizational leader is probably taking a look right now and saying, what are we doing at our university to make sure that we're setting guidelines for our coaches and we are making sure that we're holding them accountable? How are we evaluating coaches? And it gets tricky at the big time college athletic level. Like I'm not gonna be naive and say that, you know, money and wins doesn't have anything to do with it. But then an institution has to acknowledge whether the emphasis for a student athlete is less on the student and more on the athlete. Everything's evolving. So how kids react in nineteen eighty five versus how kids are reacting in twenty twenty two, like that's different. And as a coach and as adults it's up to us to uh, evolve. Like if you're a coach and your game plan isn't working on the court or on the field, you're going to change it. So if you're not connecting with kids, we need to figure out something else. But what is that something else? And is it only up to coaches to change? Dr. Jessica Chim studies sports and hazing at San Jose State. Look at all the people who succeeded and were able to endure it. And now it's your turn because this is your way to prove that you're part of the team, to prove that you belong. But these are all ways to set people up for controlling them. There really does need to be a closer look at team culture and leadership styles and a, a safe way for athletes to talk about this and to know it's okay to speak out athletes you know we have a voice and i think that's very important for everyone to know that in our next report call the quan kcbs there's word of a battle brewing at yosemite national park between loggers and conservationists the project summary reportedly states trees up to 20 inches in diameter can be cut down across approximately 2,000 acres and 40 miles of park roads and trails Co-founder and director of the John Muir Project, ecologist Chad Hansen, tells the Sacramento Bee that in some places, the logging that's being done at the park right now amounts to clear-cutting mature and old forest in Yosemite Valley. The John Muir Project, part of the Berkeley-based nonprofit Earth Island Institute, filed a federal lawsuit this week in a bid to stop the project. Yosemite and National Park Service spokespeople did not respond to questions from the Bee. Several Republicans in Congress are trying to strip Disneyland and Walt Disney World of the no-fly zones in place over the theme parks. Congress gave Disney and no other park operators the restriction back in 2003, allowing the parks to prohibit sightseeing helicopters and keep aircraft from buzzing the parks. The revocation attempt is the latest GOP move aimed at Disney after the company vowed to oppose Florida's so-called don't-say-gay law. We are two minutes away from more KCBS traffic. You're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you, and all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions. Plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the one who get it done. Meet Boost, the amazing, amazing vitamin boost that make you feel like... I like to boost it, boost it. My vitamins get boosted. I like to boost it, boost it. We are just boosted. Boost, the amazing, amazing vitamin boost. For all contest rules, go to kcbsradio.com slash contest.
It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same, but at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different how? You sell high commission investment products, right? No, Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope, never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary, obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No, we have one transparent management fee structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Want the very latest in sports? Listen for the Bay Area Chevy Dealers Sports Desk. Visit BayAreaChevroletDealers.com. It is time again for KCBS Traffic News. We're going to start things off on the Bay Bridge. We take you there via your local Honda Dealers Traffic Center in Kim Vestal. Kim? Tow truck is on the scene if you're headed out of San Francisco and approaching a toll plaza. This update brought to you by BioNTech and Spies. There was a stall, not a big deal. Already there, hooking things up, getting out of the way. Uh, so some miners pulling in that direction. No incidents on the upper deck for your ride out of the East Bay into San Francisco, although the metering lights are on. They never got turned off. I've been on since this morning for whatever reason, so there's a bit of a backup there. Well, let's check your ride on the East Shore Freeway. I can see the eastbound 80 commute, and that's starting to fill in through Emeryville and Berkeley. No accidents in that direction. And uh, also moving at reduced speeds westbound uh, past Golden Gate Fields into Berkeley and beyond. Uh, no issues on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Upper East Shore Freeway looks great between Richmond uh, and the Carquinez Bridge. So, uh, so far, so good. Charging a cell phone can be like getting a booster shot. A booster is given to enhance or restore protection after a primary series vaccination, which wanes over time. Schedule an appointment when you are eligible. Next update at 2.48 on the traffic meter, KCBS. We did and are warming up a little bit more today compared to yesterday. Plenty of sunshine warming, especially in the inland valleys, 80s to low 90s there. 70s near the bay, 60s at the coast. We are going to see temperatures start to drop tomorrow, and then Friday and Saturday, they'll be below average, 60s by the bay, upper 60s to low to mid 70s inland, starting to warm up on Father's Day. Traffic and weather together on the 8th, on all news 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. Whether it's the news, the traffic, the weather, or your COVID-19 vaccinations, it's important to stay up to date. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Please pay attention as actor Ben Barnes shares an important message about price hikes. Millions of AT&T and Verizon customers are suffering from unexpected price hikes and economic adjustment charges. But there is a solution. Right now, when you switch your family to T-Mobile Magenta Mac, you can get up to $1,000. And you'll get T-Mobile's price lock guarantee. They won't raise the rates of your rate plan ever. T-Mobile will give you up to $1,000 when you switch your family to Magenta Mac. And you'll get T-Mobile's price lock guarantee because you are entitled to more. We should listen to Ben. And you should listen to me because I'm a British actor with a British accent. If you've been or think you will be impacted by these price hikes, head to T-Mobile where you may be eligible to receive up to $1,000. Up to $1,000 back for customers
testimony from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxiMate.com. Hey, everyone. I'm Ron Darling. And I'm Jimmy Rowe. The official baseball rule book is full of all sorts of strange rules. But the unwritten rule book is even weirder. We each come from different eras, and we each were taught to play the game in different ways. In this new podcast series, we're going to break down all of the unwritten rules that govern the game, from throwing out a batter to stealing bases during a blowout. Check out Unwritten from Odyssey and MLB. New episodes start June 1st. Find it on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. All natural stone. Transform.